it has happened finally. Medieval Dynasty has released its co-op update. And boy, is it a lot of fun. I'm working out which tools that we can use next. Um, okay. For our certain hobbies. This table looks like oh, yes. it's had a lot of action on it. Mostly decapitations uh, and maybe a few backwards injections of the spleen. Um, oh, yeah, it looks like someone's like lost a leg due to gangrene or something. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That was me, but I grew it back. I'm like a salamander. This is something that we've been waiting for quite some time because not only do we now have full co-op action with four players, if you have that many friends, but you can also play on the new map. This is Oxbow. There is a co-op mode that is exclusive to this Oxbow map. There is a new storyline for this new map as well, as we'll get into through the video. Well, well, well. <laughs> Your character always sounds so out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so obese. That's the problem. <laughs> My character's based on me. We need to right. build a chest so you can drop some of your stuff. There are things like notice boards where you can pick up side quests to do extra little tidbits. That is a possibility within this Oxbow map. Need to drink something. I could. We could do that. It's not like that's, that's easy. A full character customization, down from your facial type to, of course, your hair and everything in between. There's over 400 new NPC names, complete new voice acting for all of them, which is something that's a little bit of a sticking point on for me. But my god, there is so much to get into. Let's just start on that co-op mode, because boy, I think it's got a lot of interesting possibilities. Okay, well, we are actually on a new map in Medieval Dynasty. This is the Oxbow map. I haven't seen anything really about it they've been kind of behind closed doors but it looks like it's actually <laughs> a much better map because there's stuff to do there's a child shouting at me yeah oh oh my god this is great then it's like a challenge but get, get off I... my stones no <laughs> my stones i will cave your face in <laughs> oh well just wait i'll quip a rock i think Ooh, i could do that oh sh oh my god <laughs> Okay, okay, hypocrite. What's this? Mmm, yummy. We, are you roasting the meat? I'm roasting all 17 meat that I have. I might be here for a while, so maybe sing a song to your audience. You wake up in an apothecary in Piastova, or as they call it, the doctor's house. Of course, you have nothing on you. You start from complete scratch. You can't carry over any saves from previously medieval dynasty, but this is a new map, so that was kind of to be expected. Me and Roxy, or Sexy Biscuit, have been told to speak to a man. Now, this is where it gets kind of repetitive, because as much as I enjoy medieval dynasty and everything that the game has to offer, it seems like this is the limit to their storytelling, just going from one person to another. They'll say there's stuff going on, they need help with something, there's wolves attacking, they might need you to chop something down or find some boar meat, and that's about it. You shouldn't be getting into this game if you enjoy a story, because this has about as much story as a Shadow Versity novel. Oh my god, I found a pike already. There's one right here. I'm going to spearfish it. Oh no. <laughs> no. I'm not a fish. I'm a human. Don't do it. I have a oh, knife. I have a knife. <laughs> but now we get into the game where we've completed pretty much all the starting quests. And we find the notice board. As mentioned in the short introduction, this is where you're going to find pop-ups of side quests. But once again, it is just more of the same stuff. Delivering, collecting, talking to people, hunting, that kind of thing. I'm not saying it's terrible, but it's just the way that the missions are set out within Medieval Dynasty. I would really, really love for a more overarching story here. And there is one. Don't get me wrong. There is one. You have characters that pop up over and over again. They ask you to help you with certain tasks. And there is a wider story going on, but it seems very thin and veiled behind what is the main core of the game, which is the survival aspect. So, with that in mind, it is time for me and Roxy to go and find somewhere to settle. Much like more survival games, we need to find somewhere with food, water, and a big enough place where we can start a village of our own. Because, yes, you can still find NPCs, ask them to join you. They can have certain jobs, whether it's being a blacksmith, a baker, a farmer, or hunter. All these NPCs can do all the jobs within Medieval Dynasties for you. But to get to that stage, you need to find somewhere to settle. 
So it's time to go on a journey. We have the rights to build a, a house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I settled it in court. In, in other words, I murdered the judges. <laughs> that guy's dead. The one that the one that was at the start. He, he's just murdered in the barn. Yes, I. He just, um, yeah. So I guess we get. Oh. Are we not going across? Okay, we're going up here. I guess. Sure. This is the way you want to go. I haven't moved. What do you want about? <laughs> I think I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just. <laughs> so there used to be like a, a smith here. A bakery. That's what that is. That's not. Unless you could use a baguette as a weapon. Don't look at me like that. Just. Oh, something pushed me. It was me. No, oh, into you. Oh, I think that was just the sexual tension. <laughs> What is this? <gasps> bow, bow, bow. Oh my. Come Too on. slow. I got a health potion as well. Hello. Uh, Roxy. Here, Bison, my Roxy. friend. Roxy. Look, I want to be your friend. I think. Roxy. Absolutely. Run, <laughs> run, <laughs> run. Not again. <laughs> Not away. again. Get onto a rock or something. <laughs> oh. There's a wolf somewhere. Okay. Yes, I, I do. Yeah. Um, There's more wolves in that forest. Uh, yes. Oh, I see it. Oh, here it is. Left. It's coming. It's coming. coming. Me. Oh, that's fine. Hang on. I'll save you. Yeah. Get away. Hey, <laughs> that, you wolf bastard. Yeah, don't chase after it. We. Come on. What are you doing? I'm here. What? Stop. <laughs> so, question. Sorry. <laughs> just turning around and it's just you panting in my ear. Oh. Do we think That's... somewhere around here would be nice? We need also room to expand. And I don't mean with the food we're eating. I mean for like the village we want to make. The wildlife in Medieval Dynasty is as brutal as ever. We are yet to come across some of the bandits, which as far as I know are still within this game. But whether it is eagles, geese, bison, wolves, or as we're about to find out, bears, there is a ton of wildlife that is the most brutal stuff that I've ever come across because it will find you, it will chase you. And in the case of the bears, as you're about to see, they go full revenant on us using their tricks to try and distract us and get into a, a more flanking position. Okay, I, I, there, I never knew I'd find a bear that was as strategically sound as Alexander the Great, but hey, I guess that happens. Oh my god. Uh, okay, if you come over to where I am, I think we might have made a mistake of where we've chosen to sell. There's a sign. Okay. Look over the stream. Oh! <gasps> oh no. Oh. Oh, it's that <laughs> now, freaking Now, here's Leonardo the terrifying DiCaprio thing. Movie, isn't it? Uh, yeah. When I first asked you to come over, there were two. And now there is one, when, since I've turned my back. Oh, no. <laughs> have, you, have you seen that Leo DiCaprio movie? Yeah, yeah, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, that would, yeah, that's a good one. I was going to joke and say, no, Titanic, and then I saw something behind you. You don't oh. want to turn around. Just run. Oh, my God, it's Just coming. Run. It's actually um, coming. Yeah. The, the second I, one I is on its way. I can't <laughs> run. I'm baited too by a bear. <laughs> <laughs> ah. We were actually baited it's... by the bear. I made a joke we that were. the other one was stalking us, and it actually was. It literally it, it popped up right behind you, and I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to scare you. <laughs> Sorry, you are a terrible <laughs> friend. You saw a bear, and you didn't want to scare me, so you just said nothing. Are you mental? <laughs> Would you rather I... No, I won't. I don't want to die. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. After a complete disaster and asserting our dominance of our territory, it was time to actually put a house down. Of course, if anyone doesn't know in this game, you start leveling up through the skills that you increase. For example, if you start chopping stuff down, collecting resources, hunting, you get certain skills within those areas. Survival skills, for example. This means that you can build better, stronger traps or bigger, better weapons. In terms of the buildings, you start with just a basic house. The more you build, the more XP you get within building, meaning that you can build double houses or big storage areas, warehouses, so on and so forth. We are currently stuck at the starting level, so it's time to build a small little house. Okay, look, here we go. I right, look at this. It's like look, a known I, I thing. Will... Anyone that has to tell you they're smart is not smart. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever played um, Sons of the Forest? Did you play that when it came out? Uh, I have. I 
I'm not very good at it, though. Too scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help if you're terrified of moving in that game. I mean, with all the time you spent collecting resources, you have frighteningly little. <laughs> what are you carrying? <laughs> what do you mean what am I carrying? I'll tell you what I'm carrying. I have 35 feathers. Oh my god, we can put shelves um, and stuff on the wall. I didn't even know that. 20 dried meat. I have 78 straw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can do you can do the roof when we get to that bit then. I killed you? an eagle with my bow. I did it. Oh, nice. I proved I all the haters the wrong. I mean, it was currently okay. on the ground when I did it, but that still counts. That still counts. That's fine. You just want to go into habitats and just destroy them, don't you? <laughs> no, I, I I love animals. Brilliant. <laughs> you say that as I see you topple a tree that probably has like a squirrel family in it. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're the, their bodies rolling down the hill. After quite a while building our dream home, it was time to go exploring. There was a nearby village that was positioned in quite an awesome area. Now, this is where some of the other aspects of the Oxbow map, at least, and this new update come into fruition. You see, I really prefer this. It feels a lot bigger than the other map. I don't know whether it actually is, but in terms of variety, there's a lot more that feels fresh right now. Like a village that's set on a jetty on a lake with a little town in an island in the middle. It is so, so cool. You get to meet way more NPCs, all of which that you can interact with. All of them have interesting accents. They all sound very American, which for a medieval game it doesn't quite work. But, you know, whole new voice acting, right? right? She has a small child here, as you can see. This child has just put a statue right... <laughs> you didn't drink, you idiot. <laughs> drink, I heard it. My videographer has passed away. I died. <laughs> well, this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the bears that get you. It's no, dysentery. It, it's it's you, <laughs> literally dying of thirst next to a river. <laughs> <laughs>